Hello, this is Genevieve, a technical writer at cPanel. Today we are going to explore the User Manager interface. The User Manager interface allows you to quickly create and manage additional user accounts. These sub-accounts use the same login and password information for email, FTP, and web disk services. The system synchronizes the password of each of the sub-accounts allowed services. To get started, let's log in to cPanel. Here we are on the home interface. Let's scroll down to the preferences section and click user manager. The user manager interface will appear. On this page, we can see all of the user accounts already created. To create a new sub-account, click Add User. The Add User interface will appear. Under the Basic Information section, you will enter the new account's information. To begin, enter the user's name in the full name text box. Below that, enter the username in the username text box. As you can see from the red asterisks, this is a required text box. The menu in the Domain menu section will allow you to select the domain name for the account. If you manage more than one domain, select the appropriate domain from the menu. In the Contact Email Address text box, enter the contact email address for the user. The red asterisk indicates that this is also a required text box. In the Security Information section, you will choose a password option by selecting the appropriate button. You can either set the user's password for them or allow them to set it themselves. To send an email to the user to set their own password, select the The User Will Set the Account Password button. This email will be sent to the email address entered in the Basic Information section. To set the password yourself, select the Set the User's Password button then enter and confirm the new password in the text boxes. Passwords have a required strength, which is indicated by the color bar below the password text box. If you are setting a user's password for them, you can enter a specific password or generate an automatic password. The menu to the right allows you to set the password strength requirements. Under Services, you can see different access options to enable or disable. The toggles are automatically set to disabled. Email allows you to choose to block email access or allow quota settings. The quota indicates the email inbox size for the user. I'm going to select the toggle to enable email access for my new sub-account. The next section is FTP, which allows you to manage your website's files. The FTP option allows you to block FTP access, give it a quota, and set the FTP's home directory. I'm going to leave FTP disabled because I do not want this account to have FTP access. The last section is the Web Disk Utility, which allows you to manage and manipulate files on your server in multiple types of interfaces. Here you can also enable or disable access using the toggle. For example, your computer, mobile device, or certain types of software. If you enable it, you can set the home directory give permission to either read and write or read only, and choose whether or not to use digest authentication. The read and write button grants the sub-account access to read and write files inside the directory. The read only button will only grant the sub-account access to read files inside the directory. To read more about the sub-account services, read our user manager documentation linked in the description below. After you are finished, click create or create and add another user to add another account. Clicking Create will make the User Manager interface appear and you can see the newly created sub-account. Congratulations, you have now finished setting up a new user account. On the User Manager interface, you can see the sub-accounts. The accounts indicate which access options are enabled. You can edit the account by clicking Edit. To change the password, click Change Password. To delete the account, click Delete. I would like to thank you for joining me today in this review of cPanel server updates. For more information about cPanel, the web hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.com or follow cPanel on Twitter.